everyone, welcome to another episode of Two Set Violin. First of all, we have to introduce Lucy, who's a professional recorder player. And she's going to try and teach us to play... Vivaldi. Vivaldi. Let's do a little bit of the last movement of the famous Flautino Concerto. Wow, wow. I thought we were learning hot cross buns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared. Okay, so... The first thing to know is that a recorder is very direct, so anything you do goes immediately into the instrument. There's no like embouchure. So you need to think about the angle which you choose to hold your instrument in, because it influences a lot the sound. If I play like this, it can be better. And it's better to have not too much tension in the lips. So maybe try, yeah, in this angle would be good. I'm holding it wrong. And right. yeah, first of all, yeah, the hands I'm need to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just realized. Actually, historically, there are recorders that, that's why you can turn this last hole. So okay. if you would play it the other way around, it would be oh. possible theoretically. But it's just, I guess, recorder tradition to do it the other way okay, around. Okay. What is another really important thing is what the thumb is doing behind. So you need to have this like. You need to be able to do that. It's <laughs> changing because those are notes in the higher register, uh -huh. so you need the, to have the half thump. If I wouldn't do it, then I wow. stay in the lower register. Maybe try to do like one note and then the octave above it. Yeah. Yeah. And the best is if you have your thump, you push it against the top of the hole. And then maybe also the air needs to be adjusted to the um, higher register. So maybe close your throat a little bit and try to make, instead of, that's like slow air. Maybe put your uh, teeth against, uh, if, you, if you close your teeth. Yeah, and you can put the recorder further in your mouth with uh, not tense lips. So this, this can be tense, but this not. And then there's a tongue. If you need to do fast notes, like for example. I'm going to Yeah, it's pretty good to say Oh, you just say that? Yeah, maybe say it without recorder first and then. And then say that in the instrument. <laughs> You're singing now. <laughs> That's actually fun about the recorder, you can do that. Oh, you can it's, sing? I think the only wind instrument where you can sing in the instrument because there's Whoa. no embouchure. <sighs> We're out of breath. But you are a little bit of this like, flat tongue, uh, la, 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 la. a little bit of the too big, big of a tongue, ah. kind of. Yeah. Whoa. It's difficult to explain this in one hour. Beginner mistake with the recorder is like. It's like too much air for the notes, actually. And what the instrument wants is the middle. So then... Oh, in between. So to have the right air pressure for what the instrument wants. And actually with every note, it's slightly different. So this note needs less air than this note because the air needs to travel further. That's like the violin. Yeah. When you play up the string, your pressure has to change. It says yeah. less. the distance. <laughs> yeah. So on a recorder there are like 500 different fingerings, which are all have a different sound color. So for example, if you play the C. Oh, Whoa, what? Wait, yeah. how? Depends what? on what volume you want. Or the A. If you want to play it softly, you do that one because it's slightly higher in intonation. Maybe we should practice that. to stay on the same intonation with, that, with decreasing the air. And that's only possible by like, compensating with the finger. So opening it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just me or you feel dizzy now. Yeah, I feel like I just ran. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, like I have to workout. remember to breathe. Record our first form breathing. What's the official phrase we need to play? So, uh, the official beginning. And then comes the trill passage. How does the trill passage end? <laughs> I don't think we can I don't think that. that I gotta get that. Let's start with a D. It's only that finger and the rest is open. You hold the recorder without touching the thumb. And then the G. 
and you add one finger. That's it, yeah. And then maybe try to use the tongue for the articulation, so not but almost, almost. <laughs> Yeah, no, you need to keep them, this one, oh. close. Yeah, not bad. It's the first four bars of Vivaldi. Yeah. You want to do the trills, maybe? Okay. And you have the violin trill skills already, so... Mm. <laughs> Why is mine on E flat? Yeah, I don't know. What the? Oh, is this not your fault, maybe? No. What? Oh. Okay, apparently it needs to be the other one. So every recorder is different, like I said. So this is just your recorder. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That also works! Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an alternative. Dude. You just invented like a... Invented a new technique! technique. Oh. Yes! I'm getting really excited. Yeah. <laughs> Only these two. That's it, yeah. yeah. And then again the same thing. Uh, oh. Yes! Yeah, the first one is a. Oh. But it doesn't. And then you said the Eddie's finger is easier. A bit out of tune, but. Mm. What's the oh, real oh. finger? Do do What's the real finger? This one without the thumb. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we did it. Yeah, yeah, you did it. Yeah, we made it. You did well. Oh, thank you. It's my first ever proper recorder lesson. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to check out Lucy's channel. Check out her website below if you want to go see her play live. Make sure to like and subscribe. And go, go practice! practice.